PowerPoint was one of those tools that I just don't use that much. So when I realized Copilot could create me presentations to at least adapt or make my own, I was super excited. Now, the, we're gonna go through two prompts in presentations that Copilot made and show you how you can adjust them, how you can make it to where either you have a simple prompt or even a more detailed prompt. So let's hop on over to the computer and I'm gonna show you how to do that. And we're gonna dive into Copilot in PowerPoint. All right, everyone, my name is Josiah. And as we jump in, I do wanna remind you, we are consultants. And if you have any issues with this video or any others, you can feel free to reach out to us on all of our social media platforms at Next Tech NT. Now we're gonna move into PowerPoint. This is gonna be a little bit quicker. I have two prompts that I want us to go through. And as you can see, just like in the other apps, if I go to my blank presentation, I am still signed in with the account I signed my Copilot license to. And then I got this wonderful response. It says, does it cover Copilot a whole new way to work? And you can click next. You can say try Copilot and it pops up over on the side. If that prompt didn't come up, you can just click Copilot up here and it pulls up the same kind of prompt. So I'm gonna paste in my response and see what we get. All right, so this prompt was create a presentation about the differences between Ring Central and Google Voice. I want to focus on the features, benefits of each, and lead the presentation on a journey that shows the user they should pick Ring Central over Google. So programming in a little bit of bias to this. I will need five reasons to go with Ring Central over Google and how it can benefit a business to choose Ring Central. Ring Central versus Google Voice. So at least it got the right products out. Presentation overview. So, hey, here's our key features. Feature comparison right here goes into scalability. So, which one's scalable? International calling. Interesting. Customizations. Integrations. Security and compliance. In conclusion, Ring Central offers better, more scalability customizations, integrations, and security than Google Voice, making it the better choice for businesses looking for a tailored communication experience with advanced features and robust analytics. So it created this web, this presentation for me that is pretty decent. And so there's some stuff I would change, like I might put some of our, some of our company logos on it. Um, one thing about these prompts is you can't ask it to change something on the page that's already generated. You have to... Um, I almost ask it to create another slide. Like, can you recreate slide this or maybe give it the prompt again and say, I want you to make sure you use our company logo within the presentation, that type of thing. You can always recreate the presentation, but that's how it is. So the other thing that's really cool in here in Copilot is you can say, hey, I want you to summarize this presentation for me. Like, what is this presentation about? If you wanna go through and read it all, just click that. And while reading this might be almost as long, it's not really a great summary, but it's say, hey, main idea, Ring Central versus Google Voice. Ring Central offers international calling integration, and it talks about the different ways. And what I like about this is there's also nine references. So it references all of the sources it brought in. So if you ever wanna double check or change the presentation a little bit, you can find their references. Finally, it does give you prompts for what you should tell people down here in the prompt spot when you're presenting. So if you go to each slide, it talks about what you should say on each slide. So it gives you a good starting point. And so this seems really powerful to me. I think it's pretty cool. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and hop into prompt two that gets a little bit more specific because this was a pretty generic response. So this next prompt that I'm gonna start copying is a presentation with 10 slides about using an MSP. I said, hey, base it off of my website and go ahead and give me the presentation. All right, now I've pasted it in. I realized a mistake as I was pasting it, there's two slide sevens, which is interesting. So let's see what it does with that. And then we're gonna go ahead and say go. Like you said here, it says, hey, you can use data from our website, Next Tech Consultants, and from our YouTube channel. It's a 1500 word prompt, so it's not like I, did, I spent some time on this to make it more detailed. So let's see how it does.
Ooh, here we go. Let's see what it says. Welcome to Nextex Consultants MSP presentation. I might change this. Yeah. Streamline your business IT needs with Nextex Consultants. Not bad. Benefits of an MSP proactive maintenance, continuous monitoring, fast response times. And those are on my website. Lost time due to tech issues. Benefits of MSP services. So that's kind of interesting. They listed it twice. Security risks of not updating computers. Just like I asked it to there. Cyber attacks and ransomware are a big thing. Cost you a lot of money. We use Trend Micro to prevent ransomware. Disaster recovery. And if you look, slide seven is twice. So it should be about disaster recovery. And the next one should be about backups. So we went from Trend Micro to disaster recovery to backups. At Next Tech Consultants, we have regular backups, state-of-the-art backup solutions, client feedback from Google reviews, which was slide eight. Huh? They read my reviews and posted a summary of them. So that was pretty cool. Next Tech Management Plan. Did I call it that in slide nine? I did. This PDF shows more information about it. So you can see the PDF here, but it does go in and say, hey, we have 24 seven monitoring, which I didn't, I didn't make that up. That's actually on my PDF in this link. So you, it read it, put it in saying, hey, 24 seven monitoring, comprehensive managed IT service, unlimited support and full IT management. All of that's on the PDF. So that was pretty cool that it came in. And because I had two slide sevens, now there's 11 slides. So. Thanks for your time. It also has all of our talking points down here, just like the other slide. So as detailed as you want to make your prompt is the more detailed your slides come out. All right, guys, and that's PowerPoint and how you can use prompts to create different slides and presentations. I think it's pretty cool. It's fun to see what you can do and play around with it. And yeah, that's PowerPoint in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoyed the my presentation of PowerPoints and the presentation that Copilot made. For some reason, I thought that was really funny in my head, but it didn't work out too well. But anyways, I appreciate you guys sticking around. I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. It really does help us create more content like this to help support your business. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.